hello and welcome to another video of our channel in this video we are covering how we can fix macrium reflect clone failed error macrium reflect is a disk imaging and backup software for microsoft windows which creates back backups and images using the service microsoft volume shadow copy service it backups and replicates or clones entire partitions to another storage drive with a click of a button. The error message Macrium Reflect Clone Failed is a very common error which occurs particularly when you are cloning your hard disk drive to a solid state drive. The reason for this error message are very diverse and range from antivirus issues to bad sectors in the drive. So let's first look at what can cause the error of Macrium Reflect clone failed. Like I mentioned before, this error message can happen due to a number of different reasons. Some of them are on your screen right now. The first is the connection between the drive and the computer is not proper. A bad connecting cable can disrupt your process of cloning the storage device. Second, the storage device has bad sectors. The software usually returns an error message when it encounters bad sectors while cloning. Third is, the antivirus software is not letting Macrium clone the drive. This is a very common practice for antivirus software to block any attempt to access the drive for a prolonged period of time. So how we can fix the Macrium Reflect Clone Failed Error? Users facing this issue report that they get a variety of error messages such as access denied or unable to match partitions. The error message is usually also accompanied by an error digit says error 9, error 0, etc. In rare cases, if the permissions are not set correctly, you might experience the message read failed 13, permission denied 32, or write failed 22 invalid augment. The solution we are going to show you now target all these issues. Make sure that you have an active internet connection and are logged in as an administrator. First of all, let's check the disk for bad sectors. A bad sector is a sector in a storage device which is inaccessible by any software because of permanent damage. Bad sectors are present in storage device all the time. To counter this, the operating system flags these sectors so it can skip them in normal operation. If you have any bad sectors, you should run the check disk utility to make sure they don't disrupt the cloning process. To do this, let's press Windows and R key, type CMD or command prompt, and hit enter. Or right click on the start menu and run Windows PowerShell Admin or you can type in the search command prompt and when you see the results right click on command prompt and click on run as administrator click yes when you are prompted with user account control window once you are landed in command prompt type chkdsk space forward slash and R and hit enter this will take a little while and if you're prompted to check after a restart press Y and restart your computer on the restart check disk will already be scheduled by operating system a scan will be done be patient and let the process complete after the utility has scanned and removed bad sectors from normal access, try cloning the storage device again. The next thing that we can try here is to clean up destination disk. If your destination disk has a corrupt file system, Macrium will be unable to clone into it. Corrupt file systems are not rare either and are usually induced because of logical errors. We can use the utility disk part to clean the structure of your destination drive and see if this fixes the problem. 
Again, press Windows and R key, type command prompt in the dialog and hit enter. Or you can search for command prompt, right click on it and click on run as administrator. Click yes on USC prompt. Once you are in the command prompt, type disk part. Hit enter and wait for the utility to come up. Now type list disk. This will list up disks. So we need to know which drive you have just inserted as a destination drive. So in our case, disk 1 is online and it is our destination drive. So we will type select disk space disk number of the destination drive which is 1 in our case. As you can see disk 1 is now selected disk. You can say clean all and just hit enter. Once you execute this command you have to wait for a while so it can clean the partition. As you can see it says disk part succeeded in cleaning the disk. Now restart your computer and make sure both devices both of the drives are connected properly and then try to clone again. Our next step is to disable antivirus. As we mentioned earlier, antivirus software blocks access to any program which defines species of infecting the computer system. If the cloning process is blocked by an antivirus, you might receive the error access denied along with an error code. To encounter this situation, you can disable your antivirus software completely and then try cloning again. If you have more than one antivirus software on your desktop, do the same for all of them. Once you're absolutely sure that no antivirus is monitoring your computer, attempt at running the cloning process again. This should solve the problem. Next thing is, we can try creating an image instead of cloning. If you're having issues cloning your hard drive, you can try making an image of it instead. There are slight differences between the two processes. This cloning is the procedure of copying entire content of one drive to another which includes all the information needed to enable you to boot the operating system from the drive. It creates a one-to-one -one copy of the hard drive and these hard drives can be replaced with each other as well after the cloning process. Disk imaging is the process of making a backup copy of the contents of the hard drive. A disk image is a type of storage files which contains all the data and the necessary information to boot into the operating system. However, disk image needs to be applied in order for the hard drive to work. Now let's see the procedure how you can image your drive instead of cloning. Open the Macrium Reflect software. You will see the dashboard. Select the drive which you want to make image of and then click on image this disk. So let's browse for a location where we want to store the image. I'm going to put it in a shared folder. Now select next and here choose a template for your backup. If you don't know what is this just select a none and click on next. Once you click on finish it will start creating the image. Wait patiently for the process to finish. Now let's talk about ignoring bad sectors. If you get the same error message when creating an image, you can try ignoring the bad sectors when the image is being created. Usually by the solution, all the bad sectors are removed from the logical storage. But if there are some problematic ones which are still causing trouble, this can solve the issue. Open the Macrium software.
click on the settings icon click on advanced and check this ignore bad sectors when creating images option once you do this click on ok and save changes and now you can try to create an image the next thing to check is to check the drive connection before you start using third-party alternatives you should check if the physical connections between both of your drives is properly inserted if you're connecting an ssd through a usb port try plugging it inside the motherboard and try to clone again the image shows the connections of the hard drive change the sata connection for the hard drive if possible attempt at changing the cable cables can get damaged easily and because of them the cloning process can get disrupted once you are sure that both the target and the destination drives are connected properly move forward with the cloning process so if nothing has worked so far you can try third party alternatives According to our survey, there were numerous cases where Macrium threw an error conditions, whereas other software such as AOMEI did the job perfectly. For information of the user, we recommend the software AOMEI. You can download the software module from its official websites and the link is given in the video's description and try cloning your drive from it. Please note, we have no affiliations with any software. All the software recommended are purely for the information of our audience. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel.